Dreamflight VTOL is a new flight controller and stabilization package intended to be used for small to medium sized hobby or research projects. Dreamflight is the code and the physical flight controller is a TeenZ 4.0 microcontroller with an MPU 6050 IMU. This lightweight flight controller can be used for anything from basic multi-rotors to advanced VTOL configurations to simple fixed wing platforms. Why is it called Dreamflight? Because I wrote the code, so I get to name it. So why did I create this and why am I sharing it with you? This code was written to support my master's research at the University of Maryland. I am not a coding guy. I needed a simple flight controller where I knew all of the inputs and outputs, but could also program my own functionality at the source code level. Arduino type projects allow for this type of customization, but Arduino boards just haven't been quite fast enough to run flight control code without advanced optimization techniques. That's where the TNZ 4.0 microcontroller comes in. The TNZ works identically to an Arduino. You even upload code to it through the Arduino IDE along with the TNZ Duino add-on. The difference is that it runs at 600 megahertz compared to something similarly sized like an Arduino Nano that runs at only 16 megahertz. The TNZ also has over 40 digital pins 31 of which are PWM enabled, and all are interrupt capable. If you're a hobbyist, you're probably drooling at the thought of this I.O. capability by now, especially compared to other flight controllers available today. Speaking of other flight controllers, the main problem I've had when looking at things like Arduopilot or Betaflight is that the code is so difficult to modify or understand what is going on. It just seems like a black box where you have to wrestle with it to get to work, especially for unique VTOL configurations that transition between flight modes. I wanted something that does exactly what I want and gives me the ability to add any functionality I want with some basic knowledge of coding with Arduino. No advanced techniques, just some simple, unoptimized, but easy to understand code running really fast on an even faster board. All of the code required to take in radio inputs, generate stabilized commands with a PID controller, and mix them for your dynamic configuration is taken care of. All you need to do is assemble the flight controller, set up your radio connection, and assign your desired mixing to the motors or servos. The default code supports six motor outputs using one-shot 125 ESC protocol and seven servos or ESCs using standard PWM. The complete documentation will show you how to modify the code for more outputs if you're interested in a customized hardware setup for larger projects. Custom mixing allows for variable dynamic configurations. What does that mean? It means that with a simple if statement, you can monitor the state of an auxiliary radio channel and assign different outputs for hover mode and forward flight mode. This has been where others have struggled to get something working for their VTOL projects in the past. I've been chasing VTOL for over 10 years and only just recently saw success after trying to struggle with other flight controllers and hardware just not meant for VTOL. A beta flight controller does really well at stabilizing a multi-rotor, but ask it to reassign outputs based on a switch input to transition between flight modes and you're on your own. Autopilot and Pixhawk have support for specific VTOL platforms, but getting something working and then troubleshooting requires a steep learning curve that takes hours of time in the forums. Do you know a little bit about Arduino? Great! The documentation will walk you through how the code works, which is less than 800 lines, and how to work with it. Every variable is available to you, along with options for controller types, and of course, your fully custom mixing. Dreamflight is not an autopilot. It will not fly the vehicle for you. It is a stabilization package, meaning that your controller inputs are mapped to either a desired rotation rate or angle and the internal PID controller will use the IMU data to generate stabilized variables based off of the error between what you are commanding and what is being measured. These variables are mapped to the actuator outputs in the control mixer and written out to the pins on the TNZ. There is no support for GPS, altitude hold, position hold, or any advanced autonomy. However, the computing power and I.O. capability of the TNZ will allow you to interface with your own sensors and you can add your own functionality as you see fit. For example, I wrote a simple function that gets simulated radio commands from an onboard Raspberry Pi rather than the radio controller. The Raspberry Pi was running some different code to detect a landing zone and generated pilot commands that the Dreamflight flight controller thought was just me controlling the vehicle for my radio. Pretty cool. This flight controller package is something I wish I had years ago when working with little rate gyros or when we were all hacking apart Wii nunchucks for their IMU. Having full control over everything within the code is something that we all as hobbyists and researchers have wanted for a while now. The TNZ 4.0 has really enabled something that is easy to understand and gives excellent performance. I hope Dreamflight enables you to do some really cool things and I look forward to seeing just how versatile it can be. Best of luck. 
And just one final note, I'll be continuing to update and improve the code. And if there's enough interest, I'll be making some tutorial videos to supplement the documentation as well. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with any new info and future tutorials. Thank you.